Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the touch sampling rate comparison between all of these three smartphones which are got right now. Starting with the first phone which is a Realme GT Neo 2 device and second is a Realme GT 2 smartphone and third is a Realme GT Neo 3 device. And let's find out friends what is the touch sampling rate going on between all of these three smartphones side by side. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video comparing all the three smartphones side by side together. And first thing is that you should know what is the company claiming touch sampling rate of individual smartphones smartphones. Right now on the Realme GT Neo 2, the company did mention that the phone has got 600 such sampling rate and whereas the GT2 has got 1000 such sampling rate and GT Neo 3 has got 360 hertz such sampling rate according to the specifications from the flip card that's what I am trying to mention. 360 hertz as you can see here. So let's see friends what is the default touch sampling rate we are getting that's what matters right so that's what I am going to demonstrate in this video comparing with the default touch sampling rate what's happening here. So first let me to demonstrate in the Realme GT Neo 2 what's happening in this device. Right now in the Realme GT Neo 2 we are getting the value about 420 as you can see friends 420 value we are getting so in this device so 420 minus 120 300 hertz touch sampling rate in the realme gt neo 2 out of 600 we are getting 300 hertz in this device and you need to do the minus every time so don't forget that because you need to do the minus with the refresh rate otherwise you will get the extra value but right now in the gt2 we are getting 480 so 480 minus 120 hertz touch sampling rate 120 hertz refresh rate 360 hertz touch sampling rate so 300 hertz and 360 hertz touch sampling rate we are getting out of 1000 and where is the realme gt neo 3 which has got 360 hertz touch sampling rate in this device but let's see what's happening with the applications how much we can actually get and here we go we got about 240 240 minus 120 120 hertz touch sampling rate that's the lowest of all the other two if you try to compare as you can see friends clearly if you to go to the official website also there is no information about the touch sampling rate in this uh, display section as you can see that's kind of really weird i'm not sure why they did not include the touch sampling rate value if you to go to the overview as well even in this also i did not see any kind of touch sampling rate value exactly they did not mention like touch sampling rate let's click uh, find and let me to see whether i can actually find as you can see, no words in this page related to the touch sampling rate. I am not getting it all. Nothing. No word. As you can see, it's clearly. So, nothing at all. No touch sampling rate value. Nothing. They did not mention anything about that. As you can see, when scale, I'm just trying to uh, type the rate, and here yeah, I'm trying to see they did mention only refresh rate. They have mentioned only refresh rate, but not touch sampling rate. How much it is? It's kind of completely weird. So why the Realme is not letting us know what's going on, and why the Realme is hiding? So it's, there's no information, nothing about it. So overall, that's the reason, friends. I need to relay on the information from the Flipkart. Flipkart, I did mention 360 hertz, but about these two phones in the official website, they are given the thousand hertz in the official website. But the thing is that from the official website, in the GT2, we'll be getting the 1000 hertz touch sampling rate. Will be available soon with an OTN update. That's what I did mention in the official website of the Realme on the Realme GT2 device. That's something you should definitely know about. So friends, we are getting the. 300 hertz touch sampling rate and we are getting 360 hertz touch sampling rate and we are getting 120 hertz touch sampling rate that's the difference between all of these three smartphones which you can actually have right now let me to draw the line at the same speed as you can see friends try to observe try to observe just try to check what's happening try to observe 120 hertz and 360 hertz let's try 1 2 and 3 same speed but different level of touch inputs are detecting right now as you can see same speed but different type of touch input because this is more and higher touch sampling rate than this one that's the main reason why and 360 hertz and 300 hertz nothing much huge difference you're going to notice but let me draw the lines and show you as you can see try to compare nothing much huge difference you're going to notice but 120 hertz and 360 hertz yes you're going to notice Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching this quick comparison between all of these three smartphones. Overall, the GT Neo 3 has got only 120 years, 360 years and 300 start sampling rate. Meanwhile, signing off and illustrated for more updates and bye.